Alright, wad three here. Uh, it's going to be a 12 minute AMRAP. I'm going to start out with 10 overhead squats, 20 toes, then go to 20 toes to bar, 30 box jump overs, 40 wall balls, and then 50 double -ups. So for the overhead squats, RX, RX weight for men is 135, for women is 95. Uh, the scaled weight is 95.65, but we're also offering the option to um, decrease the weight, but as you decrease the weight, we're going to increase the reps. So instead of doing 10 reps at, 70, at 75 pounds, we'll do 15 reps at 75 for men, 55 for women. 20 reps at 65 for men, 45 for women. So we're offering the, those for, um, for the skilled and master's divisions. The RX cannot drop weight. RX has to stay at 135.95. On uh, the, the 20 toes to bar, the uh, scaled and master's divisions will do weighted sit-ups, which they'll have an ab mat, and they'll have a 20 pound, men will have a 20 pound med ball, women will have a 14 pound med ball, and they'll go back and touch the ground and do a sit-up with the med ball. Uh, on the wall balls, we're gonna stay with the same weights throughout all divisions, both scaled, masters, and RX. So we're just going to stick with 20 pounds for men and then 14 pounds for women. On the double unders for scaled and masters, we're going to do three to one singles. So instead of doing um, 50 singles, you're going to do 100, 150 singles. So a three to one ratio. And that is wad three. All right, wad three, we're going to go over the, uh, the overhead squat portion. So three ways to, to, to get in the overhead squat. You can power snatch it and then go down into your overhead squat. Or you can squat snatch it into your first rep, and that will count. Right. And also, you can clean the bar up, jerk it over your head, put it in the back rack, set your grip up, and then overhead squat from there. Okay, all three of those ways will count as reps for your first rep. So what we're looking for, as far as standards goes, is we want to see the, uh, the hips below the knee or pass parallel. We also want to see, Derek's going to go, Derek's going to go down, okay, full depth. He's going to come up and he's going to you know, lock out the hips, showing us control. Um, that would be considered a good rep. So no reps would be not reaching full depth, of course, and reaching depth, coming up halfway and then coming back down. Okay, So when you're doing them, try not to be going so fast that you can't see the hips extend and uh, showing control at the top. That is the overhead squat. All right, we're gonna do toes to bar now. Derek's gonna do a couple good toes to bar. So what we're looking for is both feet touch the bar at the same time, okay? And on his way down, his feet come past the, the, the bar. His feet come behind, behind the bar, and that's a good rep. So no reps would be, feet do not touch, or if one foot touches, and one does not. Okay, so make make sure the feet touch, and make sure on, the, on your way down and you're extended, your feet come back behind the bar. All right. And those that are doing scaled, we're going to do um, weighted sit-ups with the med ball. So you're going to put your feet together like you're doing a butterfly stretch, and you're going to come up, touch the ground with the med ball, and then come back, touch the ground again with the med ball. Okay. So pretty easy. Just make sure that you touch the touch the ground on the way up and the way back. All right, we're going to do box jump overs. Derek's going to jump out, both feet are going to touch the, touch the top of the box, and he's going to go over. Okay, These are pretty simple. We're just looking for the feet to touch the top of the box, both feet at the same time. Uh, you do not have to extend the hips, just both feet touch the box, and come over. And step ups are permitted as long as both feet touch the top of the box. Some no reps would be consisted of using the hands, jumping completely over the box, or stepping up with one foot. Okay. So again, make sure both feet touch the top of the box, and you should be good. All right, we're going to do wall balls. Derek's going to do a couple of good wall balls. Okay, we want to see full depth. Okay, breaking breaking parallel with the hips. We want to see the ball make contact with the target. Okay. So some no reps are going to be consisted of not reaching full depth. Okay. Also, the ball getting the same height but not hitting the target will also be a no rep. And of course, hitting short. Some other no reps would be if the ball was going up, okay, and didn't make contact on the way up, but on the way down made contact would be considered a no rep. So really just make sure that when you release the ball, the ball goes directly to the target, hits the target, and comes back down. Um, also, the ball cannot hit before the target and roll up 
that would be, that'd be considered a nerf as well. So make sure you get that, make sure you hit the target, and you should be good. After wall balls, of course, you're going to have the double unders. Uh, no, no real standards for double unders, just make sure you know for one hop you have, you have two swipes under the feet, and remember there's a three to one ratio if you're going to do singles. 